Hi, I'm Marie. I'm one of your Marker Pop colorists. I have a mini tutorial for you today and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be using the color combo E34, Y23, Y21, and YR23. I stamped my image on Express It using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It'll be great for your Copic or Shinhan markers. And I'm going to show you a little technique for using uh, some terry cloth to add some texture. The image we're using today is by Little Darlings called Izzy's Kite Time. Now I'm going to begin by um, applying a base coat very lightly. It doesn't have to be uh, blended really super smooth because we're going to do a straw hat. And this combination we're going to be using and the technique with a colorless blender is going to give you that wonderful sun-kissed um, kind of rough straw hat look. So now we're going to be applying or mapping out some shadow area with a midtone to see uh, where I want my shadow areas. My highlights coming from Izzy's uh, kind of the front and her right hand side. So we'll be keeping the areas um, blocked by her face or on her left hand side, which would be your right. Uh, more in shadow. Also that rim of the hat, the area just behind the rim uh, and obscured by the flowers. That area needs to be a little darker for shadow. Now it's fun to try to experiment with her highlights coming from different areas and you'll get a completely different look and it's yours to play around with. That's what makes coloring so much fun. And we're blending out with our other mid-tone now. Just a little, and again, you don't have to be super smooth. And again, apply, applying the highlights lightly, but not going over the lightest part too much. You want to really reserve that highlight. You know, straw won't reflect a lot of sun, but you still want to have your contrast. Now I'm going to be applying in the very darkest of my um, highlight, my YR23, just going over the top of where I've already mapped that dark shadow I mean to be. Getting that shadow in there. Just a small little flicking methods now with my mid-tone, my dark mid-tone, my E34, just flicking a little, uh, not having to be really super smooth on that blend because this is a straw hat and you're going to want to reserve a kind of a woven look. I know any straw hat I've ever had um, has kind of broken pieces of straw and it definitely is not smooth. And then our little highlight, blending out some with that. Now this is such a fun technique to use. And now I'm going to take a terry cloth. You can use any kind of cloth that's um, textured and some colorless blender or some odorless alcohol if you um, of your choice and just lightly touch it. Hold it like one, two, three, then let up. Do not hold too long because as long as you're holding down, um, your colorless blender will wick color away and 
it'll be easy to go outside your lines. You know, your, your colorless blender is not a blender. It is a mover of color. And you can see, and the start out light, you can always go back and texturize more, but the lot more it dries, the lighter and more texture you'll see. So don't overdo it in the beginning. Take baby steps, do it, let it dry, see how it is. You'll notice up on the upper, which would be your left-hand corner, I it uh, kind of moved a little bit of color out of my line. So I would just take my colorless blender and push that back in with my blender pen, which again is a mover of color. Let it dry and then repeat the process three times, allowing it to dry in between. And I hope you try this technique. It's fun, it's creative, and the possibilities are endless. If you see it on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.